Burnout is a really scary thing, and if you're starting to feel like you're approaching burnout and you're kind of dreading to do all of your programming related tasks, the very first thing you need to do is immediately start to cut back on the amount of programming you're doing. If you're normally coding eight hours a day working on learning new things, cut that down to like five, four, three hours a day that you're focusing on that. And I know that sounds scary because now you're setting yourself back, you're doing half the amount of work, so you're obviously not going to learn as quickly. That's where my second tip for this comes in. What you can do is replace that activity with something that's tangentially related. So in the case of programming, instead of programming eight hours a day, you can program for four hours a day and then spend those other hours of the day working on things that still help you with learning programming. For example, you can work on fixing something that's broken. It could be like a mechanical thing that's broken. Maybe your toaster's broken. You can work on trying to figure out how to fix that. While no, that's not going to give you programming skills, it will teach you problem solving skills, which is the core to actually programming and the most important skill you'll learn as a developer. So trying to find things that are tangentially related and focusing on those that may be more enjoyable. Even for example, playing a game like Factorio that's built all around this automation and stuff that uses some of the same processes in your brain that you would use while programming. So while you're doing something that's more enjoyable for you, you're still learning some tangential skills to programming. So that way, when you come back and go full force into programming, you're going to have more skills than when you actually started this burnout process. Now, this is just one of many burnout tips I have. And if you want to see a full video on how to avoid and get through burnout, I link that video right at the bottom of the screen.